What is going on everybody man? King Recon here for the latest installment in the anime adaptation of the best-selling manga in history man. Let's get right into it with some more GOAT Nigashima Awesome Sauce. Let's see what this week's episode has in store for us considering the awesome last few. And let's see man. Three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, it is cold. And normally it's really hot in this room. It is cold, dog. You guys are playing freezing, but I already know it's great and it's about to heat me up. Dude, super stoked, man. Considering where we are right now, and like I continue to say in these reactions, that is the most fun thing about these episodes is that, you know, because it's no longer a direct one-to-one -one adaptation, I go into every episode like, what are we gonna see this week? You know what I mean? Like, what are we gonna see? And um, before it was like that too, in terms of, we never knew how much content was gonna be covered out of a chapter or whatever. But now it's like, because things are told out of order, we really have no idea. We really have no idea. Let me see this Yamato sequence again. I love this Yamato sequence in the opening. I honestly think we're gonna be getting a new opening for episode 1000 because how perfect would that be, right? Like to have, maybe maybe that week for episode 1000, we're just gonna have like a specific opening for that episode. Like a reanimated, like earlier, early on in the series and, and stuff like that, like a whole bunch of reanimated scenes. It'll be like fight together, I'm going to assume. Um, in terms of, you know, that one sequence in the middle of fight together, which was how, where Luffy uh, got everybody in the crew, you know, some of them with their most emotional moments and stuff like that, so. It's, um, we might get something like that. At least that's what I'm assuming. For episode 1000. For maybe 1001 and beyond, we get, we'll get the same opening just with new visuals. Like with the visuals from the rest of Onigashima. Extremely spoilery. But I guess we'll see. But I am fully expecting a new opening. And if not, then we're just going to get the opening with full-blown, you know, Onigashima awesome sauce. Which, regardless, it's gonna be insane. I know they're gonna have something special for us that week. And I can't wait for it, man. I can't wait for it. Title card! Title card right off the bat? Oh, this is about to be a banger! I took. <laughs> They said recap who? We don't believe in recaps. Dang. Big Mom. Yo, last week the entrance for Big Mom was spectacular. Make sure my audio's high. <laughs> That's so terrifying. Mama, mama, as you see, like the roaring waters around Onigashima. Look at my goats right there. Are they still in their position? Yes, they are. <laughs> Those two together, that's dangerous. There it is. There it is, and the lightning striking down from the flag nards. And it's like when you hear that. Luffy's like, you're gonna get what? It's all me. It's all me. That's for sure. The world of violence.
Mm. I like this. Robin's saying it is factual. You know what I mean? Yo, Robin's like the golden truth, dog. That junk. What Robin says is facts. Right. A paradise for pirates, man. They go, you heard me? You heard me? That's looking to justify your actions. It's like, most certainly, we can understand why it has driven you this way. But that still doesn't justify what you've done. Look at that green. Yeah, okay, Gasly, hold on, Joe. Yo. Oh, that's so cool, the way they did it. Because then you don't know. Oh, that's dope. I love the filter, too. The reveal. A clean. Everybody's just applauding. Yeah, that's a face turn if I've ever seen one. Whoa! Kaido's a good man. <laughs> and he went to pull on the blade. I love Kaido, dog. That's that dude. That's that dude, man. Hey, big one just goes under the lake. Yeah. Big one just goes like, holy flag, Nards. That was your own man. Wow, that was a really well executed scene.
nothing. They mean nothing. Not to Hiyakuju no Kaido. And even in my guy's plans. Toki. Toki and Hiori. Here we go. Young Master? <laughs> Luffy's like, what's wrong with you, dog? Get your butt up out of here. I love those two, man. It's like, uh, he's focused on the mission. Focused on the mission. I'm coming for my friend. Screw Kaido. Screw Orochi. And all them things. I'm coming. Whether y'all ready or not, don't matter. I'm coming. I've got it. Man, they really did that sequence well, dude. Really, really well. This scene last week was a phenomenal. I just finished rewatching the episode yesterday with Khan. And I, it reminded me how good this scene was. Ooh, ooh, that was nasty. That's the thing about fighting somebody like Condro is that you never know when you're fighting the right one. It's like he's basically doing like the, the ink thing with Sai from Naruto. You know how much this pains Kiku, dude. That's the thing, man. You can't erase those bonds and those memories. That's why this stuff hits so hard. Because you know you don't want to do it. You want to believe there's still a shred of hope. A, a shred of redemption within this man. You hear that? Like that's painful to these dudes, bro. Especially to somebody like Kiku. See, it's not too late. That's the thing about fighting somebody like this, man. Who can take advantage of your emotions. And play his role so well. And all Kiku wants is for it to be a lie. It's like Kiku can't help but see the old Conjuro. Man, you can feel the pain, dog. Mm. 
And there's the real Conjuroma. Nah, it even has the... Dang, man, this episode. Yo! Wow, the anime has done this entire sequence so well, dude. Man. Oh, that looked like a panel from like Rony Kenshin or something. No mercy. Bro, look at this, dude. No, not the OGs when they first met. Flipping flag nards, bro. The collapse, bro. What am I experiencing right now? Wow. Just wow, man. Man, bro. It's like they all wanted to believe until the very end, bro. Dang, man.
Wow, bro. Sweet mother of black darts, bro. <laughs> Dog, this is crazy. What is this week's episode? I am I, I'm in shock dude I, I truly am with context no not in this week's episode bro not in this oh bro no they don't time they don't time they don't time okay I, I was tripping I'm sure no, there's no time there's no time there's no time there's no time This music. I am flabbergasted. I'm in shock. Dang. I I don't know what to say. Like there's just some episodes that just leave you in shock, dude. That that's it. the imagery utilized in this in this episode with the fallen snow concept and also with Conjuro being an actor in front of an audience the way that all of that was utilized to its fullest extent from a visual standpoint was incredible you felt all of those emotions i felt all of those emotions Like, man, dude. And the Kaido and Orochi scene was done so well because in the in the manga, the buildup was incredible. When you turn the page, you see it. But in the anime, it had its own special type of sequence to where it almost makes you feel like Monosuke is about to be the one that gets cut and he goes right in and just slashes a little you like, that was like, dang. And it was the way that it was done too. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then the end there too, I was waiting. I was like, are, are they going to to show the um, uh, that Kaido's going to announce that, that he wants Yamato to become the next Shogun? And would not hear it. And that's most certainly what was shown. And here we see both of their reactions. They're on the way. Love that. But now uh, the star of this episode, without question, was the whole scabbard scene, man. That was, that was crazy. That was, oh, man. like, the thing is, is that I'm remembering certain scenes that take place later on. And I'm like, yo, this got this treatment. I can't even fathom. I can't even fathom. So really really spectacular stuff this week man i, I de yo holy flagnards after i saw this week's episode it kind of changed my whole perspective on what we're about to see here in this arc from from the battles 
because this fight for me was amazing, amazing, amazing. So it's like, I just love it. I just love stuff like this. Taking full advantage of your medium to tell this story. And they did everything with the visuals this week, man. The filters, and some of the filters are, 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 are very strange, but it really, really, really hit home this week. Man, dude. It just keeps trucking and pulling out high quality episodes on a consistent basis. What an episode, dude. Wow. Man, I, it's like, I'm still trying to process it, dude. You know what I mean? Like, just remembering all of the images and adjunct felt emotional, man. Because after last week's episode, I, I was like, man, this really, really is building up to something special. And, and they paid it off the week after in really, really high regards. It looked great. Emotions were hidden. The internal conflict with the characters. Truly seeing how much this was hurting Kiku. And the rest of the scabbards come. Oh man, dude. So good. So good. Yo, y'all have an awesome sauce of a day. Take care. This was a really good one this week, man. And can't wait for the next one. Just gonna keep getting better and better as this arc progresses. They're going out, man. They're going all out, dude. I love it. I love it, dude. Y'all have a good one. Have an awesome day. Let me know what y'all thought about this week's episode in the comment section down below. And I'll see y'all next time, man. Let's go, dude. <laughs>